Welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to build a hybrid recommender system in Python using LightFM. By combining the power of collaborative filtering and content-based filtering, we'll train a model that can deliver accurate and personalized product recommendations. Whether you're working on e-commerce, streaming platforms, or any user item interaction system, this hybrid approach offers real-world effectiveness. Let's get started. Development process. Step 1. Data collection. Collect information related to customers' products and their purchase histories. Step 2. Data merge. Combine all data into one organized database. Step 3. Data pre-processing clean and format the data for model use. Step 4. Train test split split the data into training and testing sets. Step 5. Model building build and train a hybrid model using user behavior and product data. Step 6. Model evaluation measure how well the model performs using metrics like AUC. Step 7. Recommendation generation generate personalized product recommendations using the train model. Before we start with the code, head over to Google and search for build a hybrid recommender system AI online course. On AI online course, you'll find the complete guide with detailed explanations and well-structured content. Now let's dive into the code. Mount Google Drive. Connects Google Drive to collab for file access. Install required Python libraries. Installs Lite from Numpy, Pandas, and Sippy. Essential libraries for building recommendation systems. Import libraries for recommendation system project. Imports essential libraries for data manipulation pandas, numpy, sparse matrix creation sippy, building and evaluating recommendation models and tracking execution time. Load dataset from Google Drive. Reads order customer and product data from Excel sheets stored in Google Drive into pandas data frames for analysis and modeling. Merge data frames for complete dataset. Combines order, customer, and product data into a single table for unified analysis. Displays the first five rows of the order data. Preview customer data. Displays the first five rows of the customer dataset to understand its structure and content. Preview product data. Displays the first five rows of the product dataset to review product details and structure. Plot unit price trend creates a clean line plot showing the unit price of products to visualize price variations. Define utility functions for data processing. Functions to extract unique users and items, combine customer features, and create ID to index mappings for users, items, and features to prepare data for model training. Generate lists of users, items, and features. Creates unique lists of users, products, and customer features to be used for building the recommendation system. Display user list shows the array of unique user IDs extracted from the order data. Display item list shows the array of unique product names extracted from the product dataset. Display feature list shows the array of unique customer features segment, age, gender combined for modeling. Generate integer mappings for LightFM. Creates integer-based mappings for users, items, and features required by LightFM for indexing. Displays the first five rows of the merge dataset. Prepare user product interaction data. Aggregates purchase quantities by user and product to create training data for recommendation modeling. Displays the last five rows of the aggregated data. Split data into training and testing sets. Splits user product interaction data into 67% training and 33% testing sets for model evaluation. Shows the shape of the training dataset. Check test data shape. Displays the dimensions of the test dataset to verify the split size. Aggregate product feature interactions. Groups product and customer segment data by summing quantities to prepare feature interaction data displays the first five rows, create interaction matrices for model input, defines a function to convert data into sparse interaction matrices, and generates user item and item feature matrices for both training and testing datasets compatible with LightFM. 
Display test interaction matrix shows the sparse user item interaction matrix for the test dataset used to evaluate the recommendation model. Display product feature interaction matrix shows the sparse matrix representing interactions between products and customer features for model input. Train light FM model with warp loss initializes and trains a hybrid recommendation model using warp loss, combining collaborative filtering with product feature data. Displays training time. Evaluate light FM model using AUC score. Calculates and prints the AUC score to assess model performance on test data, including item feature interactions. Also shows evaluation time. Train light FM model with logistic loss. Initializes and trains a hybrid recommendation model using logistic loss, incorporating collaborative filtering and product feature data. Displays training duration. Evaluate logistic loss model with AUC. Measures AUC score for the light FM model trained with logistic loss using test interactions and item features. Displays evaluation time and average AUC. Train light FM model with BPR loss. Initializes and trains a hybrid recommendation model using Bayesian personalized ranking loss with item feature data. Displays the time taken for training. Evaluate BPR model with AUC score. Calculates the AUC score for the light FM model trained with BPR loss using test interactions and product feature data. Outputs evaluation time and average AC. Train logistic loss model with multithreading. Trains the light FM hybrid model using logistic loss with 20 threads for faster processing incorporating both collaborative and content-based filtering. Shows training time. Evaluate logistic loss model with AUC. Computes the AUC score for the logistic loss light FM model trained with 20 threads using item feature data. Displays evaluation duration and average AUC score. Merge train and test interaction matrices. Defines a function that merges training and testing interaction matrices by combining entries and retaining the maximum value for overlapping pairs. Returns a new sparse matrix for further use. Merge train and test user product interactions. Combines training and testing user product interaction matrices into one, keeping the highest interaction values where overlaps exist. Displays the final merged sparse matrix. Train final light FM model on full dataset trains the final recommendation model using logistic loss and 30 latent factors on the merged user product interactions with product features. Displays total training time. Define recommendation function for users. Creates a function to generate personalized product recommendations using the trained light FM model. It retrieves known purchased items and suggests top ranked new items based on predicted scores. Generate recommendations for a user. Uses the final trained model to recommend top products for user ID 17017, showing both previously purchased items and new personalized suggestions. Recommend products for user 18287. Retrieves and displays known purchases and top recommended products for user ID 18287 using the final light FM model. Recommend products for user 13933. Displays the previously bought and newly recommended products for user ID 13933 based on predictions from the final trained light FM model. We successfully built a hybrid recommender system in Python using light FM, combining collaborative filtering with content-based filtering. After training the model on both training and testing interaction data, we generated personalized product recommendations for users. The system accurately identified known positives and suggested relevant new items based on learned preferences, demonstrating its effectiveness for real-world recommendation tasks. For more exciting AI projects, stay with us and don't forget to visit AIOnlineCourse.com. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this project, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tutorials.